Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Cloud application integration using a file connection in a process. In this video, you will learn how to create a process that is triggered by a source event like a delimited content file. The file is created in a directory and is monitored for source events. The process then reads the contents of the file and writes it to another file in a different directory. Let's look at the demonstration. This is the Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services login screen. Enter your credentials and click Login. Select Application Integration from the list of available services. For this demonstration, we have created a project named Tutorials and a folder named File Connection. Click New, select Connections and click Create. A new connection page opens for editing. In the Connection Details section, enter a name for the connection, select File as the type of connection and select the agent for Run On. Click Save to save the connection. Click Test to test the connection. The connection test indicates the status of the connection. Click the Event Sources tab. Click Add Event Source. Four event sources are listed, namely File Monitor, File Parser, Delimited Content Parser and Fixed Width Content Parser. Select Delimited Content Parser from the list. Enter the Source Directory path to monitor files. Enter the custom objects here. This is a list of data headers or columns that are separated by a comma. It is used as fields in a custom process object to represent data. Click Save. Click the Event Targets tab. Click Add Event Target. Two event targets are listed, namely File Writer and Delimited Content Writer. Select Delimited Content Writer. Enter the target directory path here. Retain the other populated values. Save and publish the connection. Click the Metadata tab. A list of actions and objects are available with the connection. We'll now create a process. Click New. Select Processes and click Create. A design palette opens where you can design the process. The start and end steps are added by default. In the General tab, enter a name for the process. In the Start tab, select Event for Binding. This indicates that the process will be triggered based on an event. Select the delimited content parser file event for event source name. This is the event that will trigger the process. Select the agent for a non. In the input fields tab, you will see a file content field available. This field will obtain the contents of the file when the file event is generated. In the Output Fields tab, click the Add icon to add an output field named File Name. Similarly, we have entered another output field named File Content. In the Temp Fields tab, add a temp field as shown here. This temp field will be used to assign the file content that is read from the source file and passed on to the target file. In the Advanced tab, set Tracing Level to Verbose to get a detailed information on the execution of the process. 
add an assignment step after the start step. In the general tab, enter a name assigned to output. In the assignments tab, click add field, select file name as a target and set value as shown here. Similarly, we have added the other assignment fields as shown here. Add a service step after the assign to output step. In the general tab, enter a name for the step. In the service tab, select connection for service type. Select the connection which you created and select delimited content writer for action. In the input fields tab, set the values as shown here. This field indicates that the content will be written to the file. Save and publish the process. We'll now trigger this process. First, you will need to generate the event. To do this, create a delimited content file. The first row is a header which has name, age and email. Copy this file to the source directory. This is the directory which is monitored for a new file. As you can see, the file has been read by the process and is moved to the dot done folder. This indicates that the file has been parsed successfully. Open the target folder. You will see a new file written to this folder. Open the application integration console. Select the agent. You will see a list of executed processes. Click the ID to view more. The green check indicates that the execution was successful. Click each step to see the variable values and the execution status. This concludes the demonstration on using a file connection in a process.